All right, let's just get into it. Hi friends, my name is that ranting Asian today actually. Let me just put a disclaimer, this is happening at 10 p.m. I am already very angsty before this. This is gonna be very unprofessional. I am not holding back this time. And yeah, I'm going to offend some people. So go ahead, go ahead and tweet at me. Here's my Twitter. Don't be a pussy, don't subtweet me. Just, just add me, it's fine, dude. I'm gonna be talking about some of your faves today and you are going to hate that. And that is gonna cause you to make a whole rant about me on Twitter because I have a different opinion than you. God forbid. Uh, that's all I have. Here we go. I just want to get some things off my chest about what's been annoying me and yeah I was inspired because I watched Chris Clemens make his video a few days ago And it just ignited a fire that I forgot was inside of me because I don't know about you But this week I've been actually very calm and collected and then I'm just reminded that America Has some of the dumbest people I've ever seen, but you're not ready for that conversation. Are you? Did I lie? Did I lie? Let's just uh, what do I have on my phone? What, well, let's start off. First of all, Black Lives Still Matter. That's, I'm still not gonna shut up about it. So unsubscribe if you want, I don't care. COVID-19 is still a thing. Like, I don't know if you've forgotten. I'm still in quarantine. I'm not allowed to go to parties. Unlike some people on TikTok. And in LA, the biggest TikTokers, and this is not coming out of jealousy. This is not coming out of spite. This is me calling out bullshit when I see it because it's utter bullshit. There's no logical reason that you have to have over a hundred people at your goddamn birthday party. I willingly did a birthday party solo because I don't know about you, I'm fine not celebrating my birthday like it's the fucking second coming of Jesus. I'm not gonna say their names because I don't have the energy to even say it. It just, it makes me want to throw up when I think about them. You have the biggest TikTok creators, okay? I'm, and I mean that literally. Just going to a party in LA, like why not? Why not when cases are still rising there and are at the peak? And they're all probably just being like, weed, haha, alcohol, tee hee. Great influencers, right? Your favorite influencers, that's what they're doing. And they have the audacity to make money and and I mean thousands of dollars off of ads saying stay at home, hashtag stay at home. <laughs> and then the next day they're going out to a party. No mask, why not? You know, it's just like, we're all part of this house. Why not just go for fun? Happy birthday. Who cares when we're rich? That's, I honestly think that is their mindset. They're all rich, we all know that. But because they're so rich, they don't have to care because they can get all the treatment they want. Whereas 90% of the other population in America can't. Not even America, in the rest of the fucking world can't get this aid. But it's not a problem in the other worlds because it's actually going down in other countries. If you're not from America, Please let me know your thoughts on this. I just want to know because from what I see Literally every country besides America is decreasing. They quarantine because unlike America They're not selfish and now they can be humans again. They can go out without a mask But no some people literally can't breathe with the mask on even though you know damn well They sleep with five blankets over their head like I don't want to hear it Karen. I don't I don't a mask should not be a political issue. This is like wearing a seatbelt. This is like wearing fucking pants outside, okay? You can- we all do it. We all do it. There's science behind it. Don't believe in science? All right, listen to Trump. He's even wearing a mask. So what are you- what excuse do you have, Miss Karen? Miss Thing? Like if I were to say I can't wear a seatbelt because it physically hurts my body. That sounds like bullshit to everyone else. And it's the same thing I hear when you say you can't breathe through a mask even though you- you can. There's science. Maybe go get an education again because you dropped out probably during middle school. <laughs> I have not been that mad in a while. You can- I, I'm sorry. This is- I'm sorry. This is kind of selfish too, I will admit. Because I know I'm very privileged to be in a house and have running water and food and not have to worry about being able to pay rent and pay off bills. But that's not a reality for other people But because these people in LA are so self-absorbed because all- everything in LA is about wealth. And how can I reach the top and not let anyone else reach the top, Jeffree Star? <laughs> how do I become successful without having to think about anyone else in my way? Because I only care about me. It's about me. Everyone in there thinks it's all about themselves. They think they're the shit. And just imagine if the world stopped listening to celebrities like they're actually smart. Because most of them aren't, guys, okay? I'm just... That's the truth. And we all listen to them like they are another religion. We listen to people who dropped out of school instead of people who spent 10 years of education and did research to give you science and, fa and facts and statistics, but no, this person's right. They're popular, they have to be right. I stand them, they dance, they have to be right. And the worst thing is, none of these people are gonna be canceled because cancel culture, y'all love to pick and choose who to cancel and it's never someone 
who is below 18. Because for some reason when you're below 18 you are excused because age is an excuse. Even though I know damn well there are 13 year olds who have a bigger IQ and better frontal lobes than these 18 year olds on TikTok. You physically have more brain development as an 18 year old and you can't handle not wearing a mask at a party. Get it together. Oh, I'm just, I'm just like, how? And this, and that's the thing, age is not an excuse. Because if you say age is an excuse, like they're 18, stop it. I've heard they're 30, stop it. What age do you cap it at? What you want? Because I see that you just want to keep standing this one person because you love their dances and you love their makeup tutorials. God forbid you drop your fave and find another person who actually cares, Jackie Ina. Congratulations to your brand, Jackie. Also, congratulations to Rob Beauty Christie on her collab too and congratulations on being pregnant. That's like some joy I have in seeing that there are influencers who have a brain still and are like actually influencing in a good way and don't tarnish the word influencer for the rest of eternity. And don't get me started on the- I don't want to see the fox eye trend on my For You page anymore! I'm so tired of this that people can get away with doing this when this- Guys, if you are not Asian, listen for 10 seconds please and don't type. You have to understand that this was a motion that bullied me and so many other people in America and so many other countries for eons, like up to this day, Asians are still being mocked just for, because of the virus, the China virus. All Asians have this virus, but it's just so easy to mock an Asian because that's all mainstream media and Hollywood did for over 15 years with stereotypes literally pumped out into movies just Apparently, all all Asians are doctors and all have an accent, even though they were born in America. And don't even get me started on Asian sexualization. I honestly can get past the fact that you want to make your eyes look smaller, even though I was made fun of for having small eyes. Just saying. I can maybe get past the fact that you want to get monolid surgery, even though I was mocked for having monolids. And I don't want to hear the, but Asians get double eyelids. That is a great, insightful question. Why do you think that is that Asians feel the need to get double eyelids? Maybe it's because what they were born with wasn't good enough by Western culture, so they mocked them for years and insulted them, making them insecure for the rest of their life to the point where they feel like they have to get a double eyelid surgery to even feel beautiful in this society because Western society is <laughs> fucked up. And the beauty standards are not standards anymore. I'm telling you, everything is Photoshop. There's literally Facetune on every single picture. And imagine if Instagram always had a disclaimer saying this image has been Photoshopped. The world would change. Y'all would be shook. Y'all would be shook at how many people actually Facetune. Imagine if every Instagram photo had the before. 90% of the beauty influencers who use Facetune to make up for the lack of makeup skills, gone cut off because they actually sometimes don't have skill and rely on facetune and if anything they are good at editing and not makeup and because society is so fucked up you have been led to think that everyone has clear skin even though when i do this i know i have clear skin but you can still see imperfections don't mock my mustache i haven't shaved in a while okay they're there but when i back up you don't see it because a camera is deceiving it's so easy to deceive this than your iPhone. This shows more detail than this. And the problem is, not everyone is in front of a camera and knows this reality, so we just know to stay farther away. Because how dare us show pores? How dare we not show perfect skin? How dare we push these products to you that tell you you'll get the same skin as us, but then when you try it out at home, and this is from personal experience, you're led to believe that your skin is fucked up or you're doing your makeup wrong because you can see texture even though every person has texture, but no one shows it because they don't want to, because then you wouldn't buy the products. And then the beauty industry wouldn't even exist to begin with. This industry, fashion, beauty, and s social media, profits off people's insecurities. And no one talks about it, because then they'd be jobless. They'd have nothing else to do. What else would they push? Skincare? Hiram's already doing that. Love you, Hiram, by the way. But text me back. Stop working. What else is bugging me? <laughs> oh, oh my god. Speaking of beauty industry, how y'all doing over there? <laughs> Must be great. Y'all want a fire extinguisher? Maybe two? Imagine they aren't influencers, okay? Can you? Can we just all imagine that these people are friends because y'all want to be our friends so badly? Let's say they were racist 10 years ago and they've apologized to you. Let's say they have apologized again and said they would not talk about it anymore. And let's say they've apologized again and said they won't talk about it anymore. And maybe a year later, they still apologize to you. That is four apologies. Are you gonna still be their friend? 10 years ago, one apology, sure. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, you're a fucking idiot for still believing in them. Isn't that the saying we all say? Don't let them fool you twice. So why are you letting these influencers still get away with apologizing for the same exact thing? After 10 years, 
and they've apologized multiple times and have shown they haven't grown. And before anyone tries to say, but I know they're a good person. I can feel that they're a good person. Are y'all on speaking terms? Are you a medium? Because if I don't see text messages, you don't know them personally. You only know what I present to you. So you only know what these people present to the camera. And for all we know, they can act. No one cares about your apology video. I want to see growth. You haven't grown, get off the internet. You are ruining the image of other influencers who want to do good in this society. It shouldn't be about money all the time, but it is. It's all about money. But good thing is I'm not friends with these people so I can say whatever the fuck I want and they won't ever be my friend. Cause I, why would I be friends with problematic people? Who cares? Why would I want to move to LA where it's all just about beating each other in a competition even though there's a room for all of us here. But you just have to, but, but you can't handle seeing someone be more successful than you. Can you? You can't handle not making it about you 24 seven cause you grew up narcissistic. Let's go back on Twitter, hold on. There's gotta be more. Could you imagine if everyone who believed that COVID-19 wasn't real or that they just don't wanna wear a mask just vanished? Like imagine if they ceased to exist from society, we'd all be fine. And when this vaccine comes out, I don't wanna see none of y'all who said this was fake try to get a vaccine. Cause it, was, it wasn't real, was it? Don't get the vaccine then. Let me know how that goes for you. Does everyone realize how fucked up capitalism is and how it corrupted this entire world? Cause this gap between the lower income people and billionaires, multi-billionaires, let me mind you, that shouldn't, why is that a word? Why would that exist? Just imagine if people weren't inherently selfish and wanted to make everything about themselves and keep their wealth and we just decrease this gap a little bit. Let me show you a great math question. This is the people living in poverty these are your multi-billionaires. Imagine if we made it so people couldn't become this and could only become millionaires. Maybe multi-millionaires, I don't know. Let's be generous, actually. That would probably push this gap up this much because you guys understand how big one billion is to a million, right? And I know I shouldn't probably be speaking about this because I, I'm not living in poverty. I, I am middle class, upper class. But in my opinion, we should stop shaming these people for not donating enough as billionaires and start shaming them for not paying their workers enough, not paying them enough to live where they have to still work on food stamps. And maybe look at big corporations and the government to see how we can prevent people from even becoming a billionaire. Is it just me who believes that no one should ever become a billionaire? Let alone millionaire, like sure, you can get there, but stop letting them become so rich. And there is no easy answer, but we live in a society where that doesn't seem possible except it could be if the system wasn't so messed up because if it wasn't messed up, we wouldn't have to still talk about Black Lives Matter. But unfortunately, I still have to talk about it because I don't see anything changing. And then, and then this person has the audacity to push their problems aside and say, but what about Breonna Taylor though? What about Elijah McClain though? What about them though? You can obviously talk about those because at least it's important to bring up those topics, but not even linking something not even promoting it on your social media but instead promoting your brand oh wow and you know what people are gonna eat that shit up i that's, that's what sucks that's what blows my mind is that people are still gonna buy that person's shit jeffree star I'll, I'll speak his name if he cares enough maybe he'll send someone to kill me i don't know but do not disrespect people like that that is foul for you to even say their names not provide any useful information and then talk about your brand one minute after. If you can't tell, I don't really like him. <laughs> I don't know about you guys. Oh, and let's talk about his circle jerk of people. That other guy who apologized, tragic. Honestly, just life catches up to you in so many ways. Since when is mental illness an excuse for fucked up behavior? Especially when you've been a legal adult this whole time on the internet. Like who raised you? Who raised you to be that way? I've said my piece. I think I'm done. I'm glad I got this out of my system. See you guys Saturday for a new video. I'm sorry, I just, I needed to get this out because it's just so frustrating to have to see this on the internet when you also have a job on the internet. And I'm not here saying I'm above all of them. I'm not here saying I'm smarter than all of them. I'm just trying to give my own opinion as someone who cares about the world and wants to see it become a better place and wants to see this community be better because it needs a lot of work. Bob the Builder ain't fixing this shit. Fix a Felix gone. Retired, guys. He saw YouTubers and ran away. Double check the people you follow. See y'all next week. Jake Paul can suck my dick because it's bigger than his and I don't want to be associated with him anymore so stop talking about him in front of me, please.